This is our heritage replica of a 1936 Mercedes 500K Roadster. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very, very slow paced walk around of the car. Following that, there will be video clips of the interior as well as under the hood with the car running. So we purchased the car out of Michigan from a gentleman that actually had quite the collection of these oddball uh, replicas and tribute cars. This one has only 2,000 miles on it from new, finished to a really, really high standard. Uh, we so often see replicas like this, you know, looking cheap, looking unfinished, and this one is just neither of those. Finished to a very high level, um, GM based, has a GM 350 and three speed automatic. Uh, leather interior, power steering, R134 air conditioning. These cars are a pretty cool usable tribute to an unobtainium car. But the body's beautiful. Uh, no real damage at all. I mean, this car is as close to new as they get. Like I said, 2,000 miles since completion, and it was enthusiast owned, so 2,000 miles of road use will, you know, not put too much wear. You can see even the sills are nice and clean. The step panels look good. The hubcaps are free of any damage, and the wire wheels are free of any pitting or oxidation. The glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free. Uh, lights and signals are all functional. Car has a black convertible top that's in excellent shape and that does fold down manually uh, behind the driver's seat. See the uh, our listing on our website for photos of that convertible top. The car doesn't smoke excessively at all. It's 18 degrees out while I'm taking this video. Gold pinstripes look really nice against the beige exterior. Uh, not, not chipping or anything like that. Totally, totally look good. All the rubber, the weather stripping, nothing is dry and cracked. Very fresh. You can see all these polished areas where it would be typical for oxidation or pitting. It's just mirror-like finish. Even where the hood latches are isn't scratched up. And now onto the interior. Uh, tan leather looks really, really nice throughout. The gauges are all functional. Uh, odometer reads 2,095 miles, which is accurate since completion. All the uh, wood looking paneling uh, is free of any hairline cracks. The radio is functional and sounds great. The air conditioning is R134, the more modern refrigerant. Uh, it does kick on and feels like it blows cold, but the outside air at the time is so cold right now that it's hard to tell you for sure if it does work. Uh, regardless, compressor does kick on. Power windows are functional, power locks. Car does have power steering. Uh, fan and heat are functional. You can see the sills are really nice and clean. It does have seat belts. It has kind of a dark burgundy carpet which is probably the one spot on the car that does show some age. Seats are very, very nice. No punctures or scuffs, nothing like that. Dash top is free of any damage. You can see this is where the convertible top stows away in the rear. 